Welcome back. Well, they are celebrating 25 years, and in Nashville, that's a tremendous feat. Dalton's Grill is inviting you to celebrate along with them. Today, we are joined by owner Dalton Crow and Aunt Cindy. Yay. Welcome <laughs> in. You guys are actually one of the biggest family-owned restaurant groups in Nashville. Mm -hmm. And like many other families out there, you guys have been through a lot. Um, what does it mean to be part of this legacy? It's an, been an honor and a blessing to be able to serve the community these past 25 years. My late father actually opened Dalton's Grill when I was just 16 months old, so I've literally grown up with the restaurant. Oh, no yeah. way! And I know we have some precious family photos of right. you and your dad. Um, and what did you learn from him? Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's a deep question. I've <laughs> learned quite a bit from him. Yeah? Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the best piece of advice in, in running a restaurant that he gave you? Uh, mainly just keeping good people around you and always uh, be willing to learn and treat everyone like their family. I love that. And I know yeah. through everything, the pandemic, the good, the bad, all of it, and there have been some tough years, I'm sure. Right. You've had one lady mm -hmm. who's been helping with the <laughs> success. Introduce us. This is Aunt Cindy. She's been the, uh, the one in charge of Dalton's Grill since day one. Aww. She's a uh, day-to-day operations, made multiple thousands of uh, connections with our loyal customers over the years, which I think is the uh, secret ingredient for our success. Oh. I want an Aunt Cindy. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> everyone wants an Aunt Cindy, and you guys are always giving back to the community, too. Yeah. Yeah. Really putting into work the lessons you learn from your dad. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Absolutely. All we right. got to see what you brought Show here. Show us the goods. Okay, today we have all-you-can-eat catfish. Oh. We have our meatloaf mm. and our famous steak and biscuits. Wow. And all of our vegetables fresh. Okay. Yeah. And it's all made with tender, loving care. The quality meat and three that we're all looking yeah. for. The best ingredients. So what, what does it take to make the best meatloaf? That's what I want to know. Okay. Besides the tender, loving care, we use the little things different. Mm -hmm. We do the ketchup instead of tomato mm. sauce. Oh. And I use Ritz crackers instead of bread crumbs. Rich Interesting. Crackers. That's good. I tell you what, this macaroni salad is to die for yeah. as well. Mm. Now, um, we came up with some trivia games because you guys are known <laughs> for your meatloaf. Uh -huh. So we wanted to test your knowledge and have some fun <laughs> with yeah. you guys. Okay. They're fun questions. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay, so the first one is the largest meatloaf was nearly 7,000 pounds. True or false? I'd say. <laughs> False, I'll back her up. It's true. It oh, happened in true. Germany. It was really? 6,800 pounds. Yep. Wow. Ah. wow. Wow. Okay, true or false? There is a day dedicated to honoring meatloaf. I would say true. true. You're right. Yeah. True. National Meatloaf Appreciation Day, October mm. 18th, by the way. Uh, nice <laughs> to remember that. Exactly. Yeah. Put it on your calendar. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> well, meatloaf gained popularity during, during the Civil War. Don't look at my answers. <laughs> I'm going to say false on that one. Okay, good job. That's Great Depression. Okay, yeah. and last one. This one's a good one. The singer, Meatloaf, <laughs> didn't like to eat meatloaf. True or false? Say true. What do you think, Aunt Cindy? Uh, I'll have to go with him. You're oh. right, true. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so wrapping it up, what is the secret to success? How do, how do other restaurateurs kind of stay successful, stay in business. What is it? I think it? having someone like Aunt Cindy who's created these everlasting relationships with our customers and always giving back, you know, whether it's victims of the tornado or someone going through sick and death in the family, she's always the first one to make sure our restaurant's giving back and helping those who have helped us over the years. Oh, thank, thank you so much, you guys. Thank, thank you, Aunt yeah, Cindy. Thank you all for coming. And us. you can find out about the latest happenings at Dalton's Grill. Just visit them online at justonemorehospitalitygroup.com.